Hello, my name is Jennifer Bjorkman. I am the proud principal of Brooks Elementary School in White Lake, Michigan. We are part of the Huron Valley School System and I would like to share with you today how the facilities mills will support our 280 Brooks Bobcats that we have at Brooks Elementary. Welcome to our Brooks Playground. This is the area where our kids enjoy playing every day. We want to ensure that our students have a smooth area for running and playing each day. With the facility millage, we will hopefully use funds to provide a smoother area for our students to play each day. Well, we are now in one of our fifth grade classrooms at Brooks Elementary, and as you can see, this is an area where we have some issues with our lighting and ceiling, so we want to make sure what with the facilities millage to upgrade these things so it's not a disruption to our students' learning environment. And this classroom also is very well aware of the heating and cooling inconsistencies we have throughout the building, so oftentimes they'll have to open windows or wear jackets depending on what the weather is like. So we want to help maintain a comfortable learning environment for all of our students at Brooks. We are now in a fourth grade classroom at Brooks Elementary School and one of the things we would like to upgrade for our students is the sinks areas of all the upper elementary classrooms. Updating the faucets and the casework and because now some of the sinks are separating from their casework and some of the faucets are, no, are difficult to use. So to allow our students to have a more pleasant learning environment we would like for these to be upgraded with the facilities millage. We are now in one of our fourth grade classrooms at Brooks Elementary and this classroom this year when the snow started to melt we began experiencing some dripping and flooding in the classroom. Um, so the plumbing needs to be replaced for us. We had damaged classroom materials, the potential for technology to be damaged as we had Chromebooks on one of the counters, and also just a disruption to the learning environment for our students. So we want to upgrade this plumbing so that we can provide a better environment for our students each day so that they're learning the most that they can at Brooks. We are now in another classroom at Brooks and here we want to focus on the flooring that we have in need of repair at Brooks. So we have classroom carpeting that is starting to fray just like at home over time over the years having so many students each day walking on carpet walking on the tile in and out so it's just been worn out so our carpets our tile in the hallways our tile in the classroom and our tile in the gym all need to be replaced just like we do at home when things get worn out. Well, we're now in the library at Brooks Elementary School and just wanted to thank you for watching and look at all the updates that we'd like to add to our building to make it a better learning environment for our kids. Brooks is such a great small learning community. We're small and mighty where every child matters and we want to keep our family environment just like your home nice and cozy and comfortable for all our kids to learn. So be sure to come by if you'd like to look around and see what areas are in need of improvement, just let me know. Or if you're in and about the building, look for these signs that show you what areas will be highlighted for improvement. Thanks so much. Many of you will have questions about the facilities millage. In an effort to answer all of them, we've created a special logo on our website. We will continue to create a series of informational materials that explain our plans for the revenue generated if the proposal gains voter approval. So visit www.hvs.org. If you have any additional questions about the facilities millage, feel free to pose a question to us through the Talk to Us feature on the website. We are very fortunate in Huron Valley Schools to have a high level of support from our community. I'd like to remind you to vote on Tuesday, May 5th. Thank you for watching. And as always, we appreciate your continued support.